There we go. Sweet. Okay. Okay. Um, after my second sighting, um, there was then a sighting which occurred late in the afternoon and I'd say this is probably like September 1992. And I was skateboarding from my house to another good friend's house, maybe four or five blocks away. And I was about a block and a half away from his house, maybe you know, two blocks. And all of a sudden, I turned the corner, and in the sky, about, you know, 40 degrees up from the horizon, I see this giant thing. And uh, it's uh, basically, it made a long diamond shape like this. And it kind of looked like, what it really looked like is in Star Wars, it looked like the damn Imperial Destroyer. But there were a series of lights on the bottom of it that looked like this. And all of these lights along the edges were white and the center one was red. And just kind of like floating up there. And it looked really big. And at the time I even understood uh, atmospheric conditions enough to know that it was really, the whole thing looked really hazy and purple. And I understood atmospheric conditions enough to know that that meant it was far away enough that the humidity in the air was affecting, you know, its visibility. So it had to be really, really big. I would, I would guess that it was like 300 feet long, or maybe bigger, maybe 500 feet. Um, what time was it, and what oh, were the lighting conditions? Yeah, the lighting conditions, it was clear, it was a clear sky, uh, it was pretty humid, it was probably like 5.30 p.m. in September, so it was late afternoon, but it wasn't sunset yet, and uh, yeah, there was nothing else in the sky. So I was just kind of sitting there, and all of a sudden it hit me what I was looking at. I was like, oh, I have to get to the other Nate's house, I have to go to my friend's house immediately. Someone else needs to see this. So I start like walking with my skateboard, uh, and as I'm walking, you know, the craft slowly starts to move. And, you know, so I pick up the pace a bit, and as I'm moving, it starts to move and everything. And while it's moving, it then begins to tilt a little bit uh, as if it's changing angle. And then I can kind of see that the top angle is more like this. It's a little more flat. And uh, I guess this kind of lines up with what people consider uh, cigar-shaped UFOs. They have this kind of like uh, aerodynamic, kind of stealth fighter uh, side, except this would be the front, and the stealth fighter, or stealth bomber, or whatever, that's the front. Anyway, so I start walking over to Nate's house, and I pick up the pace, and it's going faster and faster, uh, and it's moving away and towards the Little Rock skyline. So I'm running to Nate's house, and I'm knocking on the door, I'm like, Nate, get out of here! And then, uh, you know, it's like just going over the horizon, and I know it sounds like, you know, one of those things that you say at the end of the story, but right as he got to the door, it went over the horizon, and I'm like, Nate! I pull him out, he's like, look, Nate! Ah! And the craft was gone. So I don't have any witnesses for that one, but I cannot explain or write that one off. 